John, uh, you nailed the five in New York. You told me on right here on air the five we were going to win. You you won them all, no question about it. What do you see today in Georgia? I think we got a shot. Well, actually, <laughs> uh, we definitely have a shot, but it really depends upon Trump voters coming back out. Ironically, because in November, on November eighth. Uh, each of the candidates got just under 2 million votes. And when you go back to 2020, President Trump got 2.5 million votes. So it's just math. There's a half million Trump voters that didn't vote in November 8th, and they need to be brought out to the polls. Now, the president didn't do a rally because the the insiders at the in Washington, Senator McConnell and others, didn't want him to do a rally, so he didn't do a rally. But he did a teletown hall. And he urged his voters to get out, and they're spending money to get get out those Trump voters who voted in 2020 that didn't vote in November. So that's really the key uh, uh, to the election, because the Democrats, they already have a lead, uh, because they're good at getting ballots out. And the reason I was able to nail those races in New York, where we picked up, uh, after I'm alone, picked up uh, three seats from the Democrats, and we held the uh, CACO seat, we were involved in those four races. Uh, you know, it, we went after the Democrats real hard with the message that they were Biden liberals, they were Biden socialists, they were wrong on cashless bail, they were wrong on uh, inflation. The, you know, go buy gas and groceries, and uh, if you don't like it, you got to go out and vote for the Republican. And so, hopefully, uh, people when they go out to buy gas and they uh, go buy groceries, if they haven't voted already, they'll go vote today and they'll vote for Herschel.